Dad, Father's Day is not about taking naps all day. It's not about golfing or drinking with your buddies or doing whatever you want because it's your day. This is a huge mistake. I wanna give you five things that you can do to let your kids and your wife look up to and respect you as a dad so that you can win this day together and so that they can hope the day doesn't end as soon as possible. Let's jump into it. Now, the first tip that I have for you in particular is to jump in and cook barbecue in particular now i know some people think gosh i should be cooked for and waited on all day long but this isn't the way that it can go about it this is your day to showcase your ability to provide for your family and to do what you do best get that traeger out get that pork butt set and on there and moving forward and you can do that nice and early and we'll talk about what you're going to do with that later in the day but practicing your barbecue game is a huge opportunity to teach your kids about how to feed your family how to nurse a really good cut of meat throughout the day and to teach everybody around you that you are more than just a dad on father's day who's sitting back relaxing and doing whatever you want I know when I started doing this as a tradition for Father's Day for my kids, it was absolutely fantastic. I'd wake them up early, we'd turn that Traeger on, I'd have that pork butt credit ready the night before, I would set it on there and get it smoking. I'll put a link in the description for a really good Traeger pork butt recipe, but bottom line is you prep it in the night before, get it really, really well seasoned up, set it right on that grate in the morning, nice and early, and just let it start smoking. It can smoke for about four, five, seven, eight hours even at a nice low temperature. Then you can wrap it, let it go for a little bit longer, and then you can pull that apart. It's absolutely fantastic. So barbecuing with your kids later at step five is really where the magic's gonna come about. So that's the first one that we absolutely wanna talk about. Number two, go to church. It's Sunday. I have a confession to make, no pun intended, but I am 42 years old, I have three children, and I didn't go to church a single day in my life until about three months ago. I never really thought that I needed to go. I never really thought that it was something that I absolutely needed to be a moral person. But going to church, more importantly, taking my three children, eight, six, and three to church, so that they could experience the morality and the improvements and the um, virtue that you learn in church was a complete game changer. So if you can get your kids in church, but more importantly, if they have childcare, put your kids in the childcare and go and praise the Lord with your wife, hold on to her and look back and reflect on the past year of the things that you've accomplished as a dad and as a family so that you can look forward to what's coming in the future. This is something that absolutely, even if you haven't been to church before, is something to definitely think about and look at. I've got a whole video on why I am now a church going man, husband and father coming up soon. So make sure to subscribe if you're looking for that. Number three, get outside. You may live in the Colorado area where I'm at, where we have mountains that are closed. We get up and we do a lot of hiking. You may live um, in the Midwest where you can get out and just do a walk maybe around a lake or on a, on a shore of a, of a lake. Whatever you can do, if you can get out with your family again and do some hiking, get some exercise, it will be absolutely fantastic. Um, I have a great backpack that I carry our three-year-old girl with. What's really cool about the fact that when you're carrying that girl or your daughter or your son on your back for one, two, three miles, you have a dedicated opportunity to have a conversation with your kiddo and see and appreciate the little things that are out there in nature to really talk about and teach your kiddo those nuances and really have that bonding time. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've got a little cuddle, like a little, little, or you're about to have a kid, you can always carry that kiddo on an ergo in front. I guarantee you're gonna get lots of props from every single person that walks by you and lots of happy Father's Day. I know for me that it was one of the great benefits of carrying my kiddo, especially at that little age, while we're going on hikes or things like that. Speaking of, if you are having a new baby soon and you're a dad that's a little bit nervous about this, I've got a link in the description below for my two-month survival guide for new dads about what you can do in those first two months of life. Check it out in the link description below. Totally free, something to take a look at. Number four. Okay, now that you have gotten home, you've done your hike, you have some lunch, if you've got a pool nearby, if you've got a neighborhood pool, if there's a pool that you can go to, this is where you can get some of that relaxing time in 
pack everybody up, get that cooler, get the beer, get the seltzers, and head out to the pool and enjoy some of that time with your wife and with your kids playing in the pool. Get yourself, and this is just a humble tip from my perspective, Yeti beer koozies are absolutely fundamental to enjoying your time at the pool. I don't understand how it works so well, but these Yeti koozies, you'll be able to keep your beer cold no matter what for it feels like hours on end. So you can set that out, jump in the pool, jump back out, enjoy that Sunday afternoon time with your kids and really having that great fun amount of time specifically. So you can bring those snacks all the while you've still got your food that's cooking as well. So you've started off your entire day, right? You've gotten that barbecue going, you've gone to church, you've gotten a hike in, you've done something outside and now you're at the pool. You've got that barbecue going. Once you head back home, this is where you can finalize your Father's Day and having that righteous appreciation for all the things that you have done as a father for the year. What I like to do is now I like to try to have a dinner outside if possible. If you have the ability to be outside, get that pulled pork nice and torn apart. You can have some Brussels sprouts with it. You can have all the different fixings that go along with it. Have some nice Hawaiian rolls. Fry those up with a little bit of butter and have everything set so you can eat outside. And then what I like to do is just something different, right? Maybe it's just a family movie night. Can you do a family movie out night outside? Is it too bright out? Maybe bring the TV outside and set it up in a way that the kids and all of you can cozy up um, under the stars when they come out and watch a movie. These are the kind of things, the family memories that you'll be able to make eating that fantastic barbecue enjoying that time with your wife, cuddling up with your kids, they will look at you and think, gosh, that was a great Father's Day. And I can promise you, you will look back as well and know that that was a fantastic Father's Day and a great way for you to celebrate it as well. Hanging with your buddies is great, but from my perspective, enjoying the time with your kids, it's a way to show them that you are an intentional father and that you can be that man on Father's Day to improve upon things for them. So. Let me know, did I miss anything? What are your Father's Day traditions that you'd like to do with your kids and with your family? Put that in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's continue this conversation as men together so that we can improve upon our journey of fatherhood because I'm doing it right there with you. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a great Father's Day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.